Hey, hey! Don't mind the bad head because I don't care. Just like what I did the other day with the, the ESAM match, uh, which was exciting, but the more I look at the video, the more I see what I did wrong. And I will probably keep on doing things wrong and retroactively hating myself, but how your mind works in play is different than out of play. Like, oh, I, this should have happened, this should have happened, but it doesn't happen that way. Like I explained before. But today, I'm going to be taking part of the, uh, the Red Baron Online tournament. So I'm just going to be taking part of random tournaments whenever I feel like. Come with me on this journey of Smash. It's against... Bye, Smar. He's gonna win. He's Snake. I don't. I am not confident with fighting snakes at all. Ah! Oh, damn it! He was able to block anyway. Fuck it up, girl. See, this is why I fucking hate Snake. He has way too much stage control. It's actual bullshit. There was like no end lag on his shit. There needs to be a lot more end lag on that shit. I was not in the position I wanted to be there. There we go. Oh, bullshit, that didn't hit! Ugh. Yeah, I know you spot dodge, but... Damn it. So I don't, I don't think the Wonder Wing should be able to get hurt when it's once active. I think that's pretty close. Cool. The Wonder Wing needs to get fixed. Just for what it is, it's actually too weak. Like once it hits, yeah, it, it's actually powerful. But around that, it sucks. Snake has like no fucking ending lag on anything he fucking does. That's fucking annoying. I'm mad. I I fucking hate snakes. Snake is bullshit. Like, he should've died there, but he didn't, because he's, he's too heavy for what he is. He, need, he needs a weight change, that's what he needs. So, I did get quite angry at that match, uh, because I hate Snake, I hate Snake a lot, um, a lot, a lot, um, fuck Snake. Uh, he has way too much stage control, and I feel like he needs to get nerfed on that, because... Almost, like, hardly any characters could actually do anything with that. At least with my playstyle. But, um... I don't really have anything to, I, I just can't fight snakes, I... Every time I enter a tournament like this, it's always a bad matchup, it seems like. I've, granted, I haven't joined a lot, and I want to join more. I should probably just stop choosing Lilat, because I don't think Lilat works for me. But, that being said, um, I, I just have to figure out how to fight snakes, because I can't- I, I need- I need to look at a counterpick chart for snakes and learn those characters. Part, but there are a lot of characters that you could use your main and fight without needing to counterpick, but Snake is one of the characters that I need to counterpick. Oh, he's automatically been disqualified. Alright, I guess I win. Alright, now... 
I'll be facing loser of R. He went through as a DQ. So if this guy gets DQ'd, then oops. Oh, Dunkley won that. So he's gonna go over there. Now they're gonna fight it out, maybe. And then I will fight to the winner of that. Or I'll lose here and this video is just gonna be me losing. Yay! Still. They just report one fucking match? In 15. What the fuck were you doing? What? What else am I gonna do while I wait? Smash Mouth! I'm versing the Smash Mouth, man! Versus the Play Pod. Here we go. But I should not choose Lilac Cruise again. Because he played. He, he likes to play. Jumpy characters, it seems like. Look at this shit! Who do you play as? Just choose your fucking character! Alright, he's playing Donkey Kong, alright. I don't know, we'll see. Is he a good Donkey Kong? He definitely can be. Donkey Kongs I have trouble with, uh, mainly if I'm cheap. I don't know why, I... Even though people say it's a good matchup, I'm awful with it. This might be a good matchup, though. I don't know yet. Go easy on me. Alright. Okay, he doesn't seem as hard as the other guy was, for sure. But, I'm not gonna get too confident either. Because when that happens, bad things can happen. Oh, you heavy fuck. Now, I'm actually, I'm trying to use what Esam said. For my benefit. Playpod, I would recommend not landing with Dare that often and use more grenade. Because, like, you obviously hit me with it a lot, but... That's because it's such a bad option that I wasn't expecting it. So, definitely chill on the down air. Like, you can camp a little bit more. You didn't do landing four airs very often. Like, fair is a pretty good landing move. It's only like minus five. So it's very, very good. Um, do I like playing Shulk? Yeah, Shulk's fun. And I think it's working. So I didn't show it in the video, but he definitely gave he gives advice after you play somebody. And if you've gone to e Sam stream before, you know that. If you ever watch his uh, him playing his uh, subscribers. And also I've learned from when I watched his matches, or my matches against him, what I should do is him. But now he knows who I play, so he's probably going to change it up. I, Banjo is, I think Banjo is one of the better counterpicks from Donkey Kong, in my honest opinion. But, he's playing Falco, okay, so he thinks Falco's going to be the, uh, the winning matchup here. And we'll see how good he is as Falco, because he was not good as Donkey Kong. He definitely was not. Or, I was better at Banjo than he is at Donkey Kong. Is he better at Falco? This is, this is a better match. Three, two, one, go! Why dash grab it? He, 
he does he never expects to wanna win. You block it once. And like I try to use it in points where people won't uh expect it. Uh and still people are able to block it because they just instinctively block in certain situations. But because like once I get once I get obvious with the Wonder Wing, that's when I start losing matches. Because then once once you get uh, obvious with the move and they can block it consistently, and you keep on doing it, that's just free damage. I don't know what you're trying to do, bro. Oh, see, so you blocked it. See, now he, now he's trying to keep me at bay. He, he's not fighting me anymore. He's camping like a bitch. Not like in that. Well, I'm kind of like in that way, but it's smart in this situation. But it, he's doing a lot. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to fall off the stage, but I hit A too soon. I was expecting to fall through the platform right there, and I don't know why. Alright, you know what, that, that was a good counter, that was a good counter. Because my, my board air is what I use mostly there, but he jumped right into it anyway. Because I, I, I always try to read the jump, but if I don't read the jump, I still can counter a roll or a shield in that situation. Because it's still a good falling move at the same time. Honestly, uh, his board air is probably his best uh, move. Banjo, real quickly, it is play pop versus stout. Um, I uh, on that match he, it's a losers bracket, so I you you can never tell how good somebody is in the losers bracket. Like, like yeah, if you're in the winners bracket and they won the last match and you had a tough time with your last match, you're probably gonna have a tough time with the next one. But the losers bracket, like, lose because that their opponent was that much better or did they lose because they're not that great there's a uh and he 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 did a lot of good things and he did adapt but he just i was just able to read that adaption and like the dog Kong one he was just out uh he was just outmatched when it came to matchups and he just couldn't handle it and but he chose a good character for the second one but uh, i was still able to read him so, there's my take on that. He is better than him, but he's also better than him. And he, this guy still lost two times in a row. So, this still doesn't tell me how much, like, how much better is he than him. These are things I'm trying to read while just, just looking at the board here. He won, he won only because of the DQ. So, that doesn't tell me anything. And then... This took a, you know, he won twice and he won twice. So, I don't know about this dude. And then I don't know about this dude either. Like, how much better are these two over him? He still lost his, uh, first match. Oh, no, okay. So he lost his match, uh, to the zero as well. It gets a Palutena, so that's actually, that makes sense. And he plays a Zelda. So if he's gonna continue playing a Zelda then um, it's he's going to use a lot of long-range stuff, but I feel like I can still deal with it as long as I stay in close, because Banjo still has a decent amount of speed. Not a lot of air, She's probably um, spam but B once awesome. I'm doing the combo. So I have to I have to finesse it a little bit. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> she's, de she's, she's definitely playing a campy game. Oh, she's 
shield and meet. Why is she able to get into shield from that? I. She, she's. Wow, that's not good. She's gonna run away from me a lot. Oh, I still got her. She tried tearing, I think. Oh, what? Damn it. Her beat up is also way too powerful. There's a, like a cover all move. Oh, fuck me. That was all. That was, that, I just SD like an actual So he's actually a good fucking Zelda. What the fuck was that? All right, but I think I got my counter pick ready. Go! Oh, that's bad. That was bad. She's so good at spacing. It pisses me off. She has like no fucking M lag on her moves either! There's so many times where I should have been able to punish and I just didn't! Me off that I know it's gonna happen. I wanted that quicker, but the fucking she did not do the input correctly. I put the input in cor uh, correctly, but no. I hate that that move combos like that. I also hate that her up tilt reaches so far to uh, on the outside. Her beam moves is so, such a good fu- Ugh! Oh. Zelda's a little OP. I'm not gonna lie. Zelda's actually a little fucking OP. So, I won out of DQ, beat his ass, but then he beat my ass. So he's actually fucking good. Sheik is not a good matchup for Zelda like I thought she was gonna be, but he was a lot better than I was expecting him to be. How I could, uh, I'm trying to turn something off. How I could fight against that type of Zelda, uh, I, characters with that many options kind of aggravate me, uh, and since Zelda's buffs especially, she has become very, I think she got too buffed, honestly. She has a, a lot of options for what she is. And her B moves covers anything. Uh, I, I, I hate I I personally hate it when characters have a uh, get out of jail free card. It being Game Watches be up out of shield or literally any counter or like a Zelda's uh, neutral B, where they could just spam it and then they could end the combo real quick. But yeah, shield you, you know you could hold shield after something as well, but it's not as effective as a, a counter. 
So that's usually my issue with characters is when a character has that, I tend to have a trouble with that. So and counters, you could you know start grabbing more and shit like that. Zelda, you can't do that. You'll just get hit. So and that Zelda was really good at spacing, and I have to be able to deal with that more too, which is annoying. I'm better against more aggressive players because I'm aggressive, and then it just becomes reactionary at that point. Uh, while I get angry in uh, at the moment because that's just what I do, um, I can still evaluate the matches and then uh, try to be better next time. So yeah, there's uh, there's all that. So if you if you like this video, thumbs up. If you want to see more from us, subscribe. And until next time. Bye.